Hello YouTube, Chess Warrior, and I'm back with another Dome Bros review. And today I'm taking a look at the DX Omikoshi Phoenix, Omikoshi Phoenix from Avatar Sentai Dome Brothers. This is a mech slash add-on. Well, this is a mech that, that can be combined with the Dome Blaster, and of course this can be combined with Dome Oni Taijin. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the gear that comes with the the gear that it comes with. This is the rope this is the Avatar Kiwami Robotaro gear. So we got the uh, kanji for violent, which is Ava, Ava, if I, if that's correct. So we got this nice hollow foil pattern in the back, just like with every Robotaro gear. So there you go. And here is the Omiko Omikoshi Phoenix. Um, now if I remember what an Omikoshi is, I think it's like a throne that that's carried by men, and, and a palanquin, and a palanquin, if I pronounce that right, would sit in it. Like a king or a prince, so you know, it's, you know what a prince would sit in. So, um, so, so look at the Phoenix, it's, got, it's all gold with some nice metallic red chrome, especially the gold chrome. And we got a nice, uh, rock, nice, uh, pair of blue sunglasses, just like with every mech from, from Dill Brothers. And of course, we got some LED, we got an LED light in there. And, and of course, this, this does take, um, watch batteries. By the way, because that's where there's a pull tab. And when you pull it, you get this. You get the name. So, um, so before we do any sounds, let's take a look at the wings first. Because these are actually pretty impressive looking. So, but for next, again, we got the gold chrome and the metallic red. Now we got, of course, we got this little bit right here resembles a phoenix head. And, of course, we got the Dome Brothers logo. And, of course, we got some waves, water. And, of course, we got the clouds behind them. So, very nice. Very nice. Um, of course, let me fold this up out of the way so it's okay. And of course, we got the feet, we got the legs and talons here, which are molded in. And if you look closely at it, behind the talons, there's actually some bullets behind it. The same goes on the other side. You can see there's the bullets because this is uh, this, this, this cause thing is actually a um, Gatling gun. So, yeah. And of course, again, of course, we'll fold this down so that way. Of course, here's the tail feathers, which which, yes, this does look like a face. Yes. Which we'll get to that later. So, um, of course, we've got this piece right on the back, which, again, that's for later in the video. And, uh, yeah. So, articulation, well, it's just the wings. They go up and down, and they can fold inwards and outwards. So, that's that. So, of course, we get to the lights and sounds. So, there's a button on the back, which, was a, which is the shape of a peach. So, when you press it on the back, you get these sounds. And you got a nice bright blue LED light. Gatling gun sounds. Okay, I think it's yeah, I think it's all the sounds you get from it on its own. So yeah. So that's what the Omak So that's it for the Omakoshi Phoenix. Well, in terms of I can do on its own. However, we're gonna need to bring in the Dome Blaster. All right, so I'm gonna bring out the Dome Blaster, and of course, I did set up to put, I did set the um, Dome Omotaro sound effects in it, so that's all good to go because this guy is meant to go along with Dome Omotaro, and this gives him his upgrade form. So all you do that, and how to attach it is you fold the wings down, fold them up like that. Same on the other side, fold that up like that. And then, and this is why the top was designed like this in the first place, is because of this thing. So all you do is you just slide it down until you get the sound. Okay, so you got that. Of course, you got party time. They'll say Omikoshi Phoenix from this. And then we're going to go ahead and spin the gear to initiate the power up form. And just like that, we complete the transformation of Goldone Momotaro. 
Yep, Goldon. So there you go. Nice pun. Nice wordplay. Now, of course, the nice detail about the Omakoshi Phoenix and the way how it's attached is that the wings actually become a new pair of sunglasses. So that's the original one. Here's the new one. Again, very nicely, de nice, nicely done from Toei. And, of course, Bandai. So, and when you pull the trigger, you get a blasty sound effect that's coming from the Phoenix itself. So, and, of course, lights go off. Now, if you spin the gear again, you'll get you'll get the transmission sound again. So we don't have to do that. So now, of course, we're going to press this button right here, which is the finisher button. So press that. So there you go. That is that. Now, of course, we'll do another example. What happens if you put in a an Avataro gear that is one of the Senpaijers? So based in this case, Zenkaiser. So, or Zenkaiger, if you will. So you got Kikai Sentai, which is says from there. And of course, pull the trigger. So the, so when you pull the trigger, you get, you get the same exact sound effect as, as with the Dome Avatar, which tells me that regardless of which gear you put in, it'll make the same exact firing so when you just pull the trigger. So, okay. Now see the finisher. So you get the, um, what you get was a standby sound from the Zenryo Kuzenkai Cannon. And yeah, so, so there you go. Now we're going to do another example. And why was you put in any altar gear? So let's do an altar gear. Let's do the Tokyuger one, for example. So if you heard, so if you heard that the um, Omakoshi Mia said alter, so as an extra, and of course, and you pull the trigger again, same exact sound as the previous two gears I used. So to the finisher. If I can remember that that standby sound is from the I think it's from I think it's the weapon called the um I think it's called the Dai Ton Ken Cannon or Dai Ken Ten Cannon. Which basically it's like a cannon has like a turntable on the top. We put all the rushes on it, so okay, so that's that. Now, let's see what happens if we put in a Robotar gear. In this case, let's do the one let's use the one that it comes with. That that this, this thing's come packaged with, which is the um Avatar Kiwami gear. So let's try that out. So you got the Kami, you got the uh, Gate sound for Gold Done Oni Taijin, which we're gonna get to. We're gonna take a look at that right now. So now I will be doing a, I will be doing a part two for this for this thing. We're gonna cover all the um, Senpai Jir gears, which I will discuss that later in the in, in the ending. So let's take a look at the combination. Now before we get to the combination between Omikoshi Phoenix and Doni Taijin, I forgot to, I forgot to show off that what happens if you use a Senta gear or Avataro gear. That's based off a Prego Kaiju tunes. In this case, we're going to use the Goggle 5 Sentai gear. So, here we go. Okay. 
Okay, that's not. Supposed... Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. What? So with any of the pre Kaiser teams, in this case, Goggle 5 here, it'll say Super Sentai. So, and it's kind of weird. They It says, and during the standby, which is Washer, and it says Densen Pai, which is kind of a weird, that's kind of weird, in my opinion. I think it should have said Le Super Sentai or something, or Legend. That would make sense, but oh well. But let's do the finisher. So, as, so again, again, like I said before, um, with any Senta gear or Avatar gear that's based off a prequel Kaiju team, in this case, Goggle 5, it'll say Legend. They'll all say Legend. So, when you do the finisher. So, just to point that out. Alright, now we're going to combine the, the Omokoshi Phoenix with the DX, with the Donami Taijin figure. Now, before I forgot, I forgot to show this off, but in order to remove the Phoenix from the Dome Blaster, you have to push this button right here. And it'll make that deactivation sign, which is actually... Which is actually from the Geertlinger from Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. So, so, yeah. Alright. So I'm going to put Donnie Taiji off the side for now. We're going to take him apart first. So, so we're going to do that. We're going to come here and there's a button right here. You push that and it slides, you slide the front off. Then come to the tail and we're going to remove this piece. Well, actually remove this piece first. And then we're going to detach this and you got a face and of course the shield. Now take, I'm going to take this piece right here, move that. And I'm going to fold the wings up like this and leave it alone for now. So. Now for Donnie Taijin, all you got to do is you're going to remove the chest pieces and remove the, the Kijin swords. And you're going to combine these two together. So, so I'm off to the side again. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, okay, we're going to assemble the weapons. So. What you do is you can take this pedal, this little um, pedestal or stand, and you can put in the Keychain swords in like this, and it will snap into place. Then take this piece right here, and you can put the chest pieces of Donny Taijin onto the sides of the speaker. So, so just like that. Now I'm going to combine these two later because when you, now when you start, when you push this in, because this will press the button, it will make the Dai Gatai theme, which we'll do that um, later in a second. That's great. Just gotta prep up doing Taijin first. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the shield in. So, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna take the shield, so we're gonna put this in like this. Just gonna wedge it in there, and this will look kind of tricky because of it's a little tricky, but once you get in there, so there we go. Just like that. That's the shield. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the chest piece onto the front like that. And then we'll take the faceplate, the facade, and, and you don't need to remove the helmet from Donny Titan. So all you can do is you're just gonna put this right over his face. So, and you'll hear it snap into place like that. So there we go, looking good. And let's go right to the weapon and uh, make sure I got the gear. Oh, okay. That's right, I forgot about the gear um, that you do need. Um, now when you, now right when you, Combine these two together, you get this. So it plays the Gatai theme. Also, one more step. Push this out, and you pull this um, clear plastic handle out. And you put it into his hand like this. This is a little tricky. There we go. Got that. And and to stop and to stop this, you just put the gear onto the weapon. And after that, we complete the transformation of Gold Dome Oni Taijin. So yeah. So there you go. So here is Gold Dome Oni Taijin. Um, very cool. I mean, <laughs> it's got a very, very huge um, chest piece, 
way larger than the um, Torador Oni Taijin um, chest. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And let's start with the head. We're going we're gonna to take a look at the face first real quick. So, let's zoom in a little bit. Here we go. And, of course, just like with the Robotar gear, we got the Kanji for Violent, which is um, Ava. So, on there. Of course, we got the ni nice new face. We got the blue eyes, which is carried from Doni Taijin's um, normal face. And we got the wing. We got the size of the, the face, which look like Phoenix wings. Again, very nice. And we've got the, got the no, 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 of course, the crest as well. That's carried from Doni Taijin. And, uh, yeah. And, of course, here's the, of course, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so let me find a little bit. So here's the staff weapon. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's a staff weapon. So, very nice. I do like how it actually uses the um, Kijin swords as the as the um, part of the weapon, which is actually very nice. And, the, and it makes use of the chest piece instead of, you know, being left out, which is, again, very, very nice from Bandai. So, so yeah, very cool. Um, so, yeah. Now, if I'm aware, I think that this, I think that the DX Omakoshi Phoenix is not the final mecha. Um, because, now, right when this skin thing came out in Japan, um, a lot of Japanese YouTubers actually trying to figure out what the final com combination could look like, which I will do my take on it in a, in a separate video. Um, and it won't be the next after this one, so, yeah. So, articulation, um... The arms are pretty much limited because of the chest piece. So, yeah. Or you can be mentioned some way, which, I'll, of course, I'll remove the hand, the, the weapon. And one thing a little worried about... Now, speaking of the weapon, um, I like, I like the fact that Banna had to make this clear because this could this is pretty worrisome because, you know, clear plastic, clear plastic, if it's thin, it can break easily. I mean, which this... Yeah, this bit kind of worries me a little bit, but... At least it's not, you know, you know, stress. There's like no stress marks on it, so just be careful with this the handle. So yeah. I wasn't talking about oh yeah, the articulation. Well, if you want to accommodate that, I'll just fold the arms in, just fold these in and fold them back. Oh, okay, don't do that because it will pop you will pop the little Actually you could do that, yeah, if you want to accommodate this a little bit. Yeah, but it doesn't look that great. So if you if you want to do it like this way you can. But yeah. But at least the leg articulation is still the same. So it's been retained. So, and of course the head can still move all around like that. So, yeah. Oh, little quick note. Um, if you remove the, the um, Robotar gear from the weapon, you get this. And put this back in. And when you put this back in, you get this. So I'm assuming that is Gold Dome Oni Taijin's fin finisher attack. So yeah, I forgot to point that out. All right, so that concludes part one of my Omakoshi Phoenix review. So I'll do a quick overall thoughts. Um, so overall, this is a very interesting power up um, weapon slash well, a power up item slash mecha, and it's pretty cool that it gives Momotaro a power up form that's just you know gold. And I do like the play on word of Gold Dome Momotaro. So that's actually pretty clever on on Toei's part. And uh, yeah, and yes, putting the Omakoshi Phoenix, the Omakoshi Phoenix on the Dobai brings it makes this very very heavy. So be real careful. So so yeah, it's it's very hefty. So yeah, um, and it's cool. That this can recognize all the Senpaiger gears. Well, especially well a couple of Avatar gears, which we'll get to that and when I get to part two. So of this thing, and uh, yeah, so I recommend this if you want to get more makeup for. If you want to add this to your mecha collection, and if you want to, if you're a fan of Gold Don't Momotaro, so yeah, so to, so, so stay tuned for part two. Well, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to try this out with the Senpaiger themed gears from Gokai to choosing Kaiser. So thank you for watching. Hit subscribe if you want to. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And of course, if you like this video, if you like this video, and of course, my Facebook and Twitter um, um, uh, links are down below in the description. So, I'll catch you next time.